can do and so on. In this tutorial, we are going to get a deep dive into the PHP syntax. We're going to see about comments in PHP and we see what we, we can end for this tutorial. So if we will start with the PHP syntax and every language have their rules, every language have their starting and ending, every language have their extensions, right? It is same with PHP. PHP, uh, like we said, was a server-side scripting language and so on. And every PHP script that you write has to end with the .php extension. Meaning that if your file is hello, then it has to be hello.php. Now, to actually get to write your PHP code, you have to open your PHP opening tag, which uh, starts with this uh, funny... Uh, opening here less than question mark then php and then you close it like this so if you don't follow these norms it's not actually going to be understood the next thing is that every line of code in php or every um every line of code for example i'll stick to the line of code ends with a semicolon and that those are some things that you need to think about when writing your script I'm going to actually write my first hello world program in PHP so that you actually see what I am talking about. So I'm going to switch to my editor a few minutes and uh, I am going to actually uh, open this folder. Now, what I've done is this. I have created a folder inside my htdocs because I want us to actually write scripts and execute it on the web because PHP is... It integrates very well with the web. So first thing, we want to create your file, for example, index.php. That is how you create your PHP file. And I'm going to save that. Now, the next thing is this. When you want to write your script, for it to be understood as PHP, you need to have your opening tag. This is the opening tag that I talked about. And then the closing tag meaning that everything that comes inside of here is understood as PHP. Anything that comes out of, outside of here, even if it is saved as uh, index of PHP, it will not be understood. All right. So we actually get to write our first program. We'll say echo, hello, sorry. Echo, uh, hello from, sorry, All right from Missouri. Next thing, it ends with a semicolon. Okay? That is how you write your PHP code. Now, that is it. That is how the PHP syntax works. Right? Multiple lines of code can actually come within this, right? I'm actually going to save this and I am going to make sure my XAMPP is running. So I'm going to open terminal. I am using Linux in this case for you. You can just open the XAMPP as we open in Windows. I'm opening this terminal to start XAMPP, right? Um, all right, so I'm actually going to start it. So now we actually execute our script and see how it runs, right? Okay, now my XAMPP is running. If I go to local host, forward slash php, uh, sorry, so forward slash php. You see, this is our script being executed. Hello from Zuri. That is how you write your first PHP code, right? I think it was understood. The next thing we are going to talk about is uh, PHP comments, right? In PHP, comments are an essential part. What exactly are comments? Comments are lines of code within your PHP or whatever language that are not executed as part of the program. Its only purpose is to be read by someone looking at your code. It means that you want to maybe describe what you did or set a reminder for something and so on. You use comment. Once you write a code as a comment, it is not going to be understood by your um, interpreter, meaning that during compilation time or interpretation time, that particular part is going to be skipped 
right? Comments are meant for you and the user, whoever is going to be reading your code. It tells the users what you did and what you are expecting to do and so on. It also reminds you of what you did. So they are an essential part in PHP. They are an essential part of, of uh, programming. Every programmer should learn to comment uh, their code because it is a, a, a norm when you are actually commenting your code. The next thing to, do, to, to see is that comments in PHP could be single line or multi-line. It means that you can actually write a comment in one line. You can actually write a comment in multiple lines. A single line comment starts with what you have here, double forward slash or a hash, right? And a multi-line comment starts with something like this forward slash and a star, then close it with uh, a star and a forward slash. Let's switch to our editor and see what I am talking about. All right, so back to our uh, editor. I actually create another file called comment.php, right? And I am going to uh, actually uh, open my PHP tag and I'm going to echo hello world here, right? And I'm going to close this out. Good. Generally, this is supposed to be executed. Now, if I comment this code, then uh, execution will not be carried out. It means if I actually have to open this on the browser to check, right? We have PHP and comment for PHP. You see that nothing shows because that line of code has been commented. If I remove this and refresh my browser, see hello world. So comments are used for the programmer and not to be executed. Now let's talk about the various types of comments in PHP. There is single line, single line comment. There is also single line comment like this. And the next thing is the multi-line comment. So once I start with a forward slash and a star, everything that comes under is not understood unless I actually get to close it. So if I close this out, I can continue writing my code down here. So I go, this is the end of the comment. And you see all of these lines I've written here, they are not going to be understood. So if I open my browser, Oh, the only two things you'll see is hello world and this is the end of the comments. That is it about the PHP syntax and how to comment in 